My first significant interaction with Sawmill was at the Learning Center when I was nominated to uh, coordinate and lead the Women in Central Operations meeting. I met Sawmill in 2005 when Waterside Station was closing. So the first time that I met Sawmill was in Bronx Westchester um, as I was a gold associate and she was a GM of Bronx Westchester. I met Sawmo when I first joined the company. I joined the company um, at Hudson Avenue Station and she was the VP of STEAM. Sawmill, uh, about five years ago when I started with Con Ed. Uh, I met Sawmill um, back in 2013 when I started in the company as a direct hire. VP and STEAM during the onboarding. Uh, she took time to onboard people and I really appreciate that. Um, she... In 2006 when I returned from Indian Point. So I met Sawmill when I first came in the company through the GOLD program. Um, she was actually on my gold committee, and ever since I've met her um, in 2005, we've never lost contact to this day. Five, about 35 years ago, in Waterside, she was our IEC supervisor. I met Sawmill when I was working as a senior specialist with EHNS back at 74th Street Station. Um, Sawmill impacted me through her, her vision of diversity and inclusion specifically with regard to the women in STEAM. Um, and then taking it one step further to do the women in central operations, to have it be more inclusive and more diverse. Just by being a powerful, strong woman, uh, uh, I have three daughters, and I remember having a conversation with her, you know, and she, she told me that her mother was her inspiration. And um, th to me, that meant a lot you know, because I didn't have that. And to hear from her that this is what, wh why she is who she is because of her mother, you know, now, you know, I'm doing the same with my daughters. You know, I want my, my daughters to be powerful women, you know, strong women, you know. Sawmill's been a mentor for me. She's been somebody since I came into Con Ed in 2005 till now that I can look up to. Uh, I've seen her move from position to position. Uh, so many people respect her and I, I feel like if she can do it, then we can do it too. Um, when she gave me the opportunity to become the section manager at 59th Street, um, the plant manager there did not know me at all, but I know that thanks to her, um, I was at least given the opportunity to interview and I was given the opportunity for him to get to know me and to actually even consider me for the job. I um, had an opportunity to apply to other jobs in the company and I applied to one in Central Fuel Services. When she learned about that, she actually came into the office and said, I'd really like you to stay in STEAM. So I had to think about it, it was a dilemma, but she really convinced me that I had value to add to STEAM, so I stayed. And so Sawmill personally impacted me in a way um, that I didn't actually work for her at any point or any of the organizations that she led throughout my career so far, but she was always really supportive of women in engineering, women in the company. Um, she never hesitated to support any of the events that we held uh, when I worked in central engineering, whether it was just uh, you know as a speaker at one of our events or cheering us on from the sidelines. She was always there as, as a support mechanism for all of us and, and for all the women in the organization. To start, she got me more involved in the Women in STEAM. We were working on a new hire packet and one day she just walks through the floor. Um, at the time I was working at Irving Place and she just walked by my desk and she's like, hey, you doing anything? Let's go take a ride. And we hopped in her car and went to TLC and there was a um, excellence meeting that she was having uh, focused on employee engagement um, and diversity and inclusion. Leading by example as a leader, she is not afraid to be seen in the bad times. Um, she embodies the values that shows others that you can become whoever you want to be. One gift 
she has is to show people how special they are and really take a personal interest um, in them and really getting to know them. The gift of thinking out of the box, looking at what's possible, and then making it happen. She I gave me a voice, a voice I've never had in a company. And since then, I was able to get out, meet new people, have people mentor me, get involved with the excellence programs that I really enjoyed. She was a voice that I never had in the company. Uh, Sawmill personally impacted me in so many ways. Um, one of which was to see and know somebody, a female in a vice president role and have her as a role model. So from a personal perspective, Sawmill's impact is I think it, it started at work, but it, it sort of extends into home and, and that feeling of, you know, a strong, confident woman. Sawmill has always sort of exuded that and I've always seen that in her. And I feel that through these sort of side initiatives, I've gained the confidence and it, and it definitely perpetuates at home. And it's something that's important to me because I have a young daughter. I think and also personally helped me understand that you can also, I mean, you can advance in your career and still be able to have a personal life, still be able to have a family, still be able to be a wife, a mother, a daughter, a friend. So she was very impactful in helping me understand that you're able to do all of those things. It's with all of this experience that I have now that I really feel like I can, I can get to the next level. And really it's all that's given me that confidence, give me that boost, give me the opportunities to prove myself. So I can't really thank her enough for instilling that confidence, boosting that confidence in me. She and encouraged me to reach out and, and just ask for what you want. You know, if you want something, um, you gotta go and you gotta approach it. And you know, people don't know what you want unless you ask for it. Always take time to volunteer in organizations such as Bottomless Closet, which helps less fortunate women to get back on their feet, to get them in their careers, in their jobs. Uh, help them with the resume, outfit, no matter how much busy she was, and I'm sure she was really busy, she really took time for things that matters to her. She inspired many women to become greater in their life, in their career. about is when my father passed away. Uh, I live up at the top of uh, Putnam County in Carmel by Duchess, and Sawmill that day of the wake drove all the way from Four Irving Place in a monsoon, and when I say monsoon, uh, there was a record amounts of rain and wind all the way up and then traveled all to, the, to be with me and then travel all the way home to Long Island that night to only get up the next day and go to work. And that shows how she, thoughtful she is and how special she made me feel as an officer of the company and a friend. Help me be the, a better woman and to teach my daughters how to be better women in life. Well, um, it, you know, it's always really encouraging to see really strong women, um, you know, work their way to um, high positions in the company um, and really, you know, make an impact on other women, on other people, you know, not just women in the company, but all the employees of the company um, in a really positive way. And that's definitely something that I hope you know, personally to do in my career, but also in my life. Anyway, we went out to this lovely place in Los Angeles called the Edison Club. So after Thomas Edison, it was the old powerhouse, how appropriate, but they turned it into a beautiful restaurant uh, club. And um, after dinner, you know, we stayed a little bit to, you know, listen to some music and they had some entertainment. And during the music, we got up to dance and I actually got sawmill to jump on a small table, not a high top table, and we danced on the table together. And that's, you know, the fun side of her is that she'll try anything. Um, and then we got, we told to come off the table, but we were well behaved. Uh, now I hadn't seen Sawmill or her from her in seven years. We're in 2012. We had already been working the tunnels for seven days because we had a feeder leak. And um, I we were told, oh, you know, Sandy, Sandy was, there was a couple of, uh, it was a day before Sandy struck and there was a call, there was a conference call with STEAM. So I got on the call because I, just to be curious and to educate myself and 
I hear Sawmill saying, anybody from the tunnels? Is there anybody from the tunnels? So he, I'm, I'm freaking out, I'm not saying, oh my God, ground, swallow me now. What do I do? There's nobody answering. So I pick up and I say, Catherine Mercedes from the tunnels. And she goes, Catherine, you're in the tunnels? How you doing? It, to me, it was so funny because we're on a conference call with all these people and she's just having a, just a normal conversation. So it made me feel a little bit relaxed and it was just, it was, it was just so funny, you know, and it felt good. I want to thank you for being such an inspiration to so many women throughout the company. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for the support and guidance that you've given me over the past 10 years of my career at Connors. And say thank you so much, Sawmill, for, you know, the short time that we've known each other while I've been here at Con Ed. Um, you know, I wish you all the best in your retirement and, you know, we're really going to miss you. You're definitely a bright light that, uh, you know, will be missed around the halls of Con Edison. Sawmill, I'm very grateful for your guidance and very happy to hear that you're retiring and I wish you all the best. We're going to miss you. Uh, you made a, an amazing impact on a lot of women's lives. I think she really carved the path for other women to become um, who they want to be, to live their dreams, to never give up on their ability to reach their highest potential. I thank her for that. You truly made a difference. I know in my life and then sharing it with all uh, the other folks that um, I've had the pleasure of getting to know because of you um, in the company um, that you will truly be missed. I want to say Sawmill, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking an interest in me and taking an interest so early in me when I came into this company. You know, her leaving the company uh, and now retiring, that she can be comforted that all of us will carry on her legacy. We will do the things that she did, we will mentor other women, we will lift each other up, and we will just continue to basically live in her shadow. I just want to say thank you for giving me a voice that I've never had in the company, and you rock. Sawmill. Wishing you all the best in your retirement. 38 years in the company, you certainly have made a difference for this company. I would say you certainly have made a difference for Central Operation. You spent a lot, a lot of time in STEAM. Now, I think Gus can finally run STEAM now that you're leaving. You have made a difference to the employees who have worked for you. You have made a difference to the VPs who have worked with you. And certainly, I, I, as I said to you before, I view you as a friend and I'm certainly losing a friend. But you will go out and make a difference in the world because that's just the person you are. Again, thanks for all that you have done for me as a person, and thanks for all that you have done for Central Ops. And as, as I said, I wish you all the best in your retirement. Sawmill has had an amazing 37-year career with the company, and I've had the good fortune of working with her for most of those years. She's accomplished so much and contributed so much. She leads with a fiery determination it often seemed to me that the bigger the task, the more courage she showed. She also leads with a sense of mission and purpose that engaged others and brought their enthusiasm to the task. And she was never afraid to show her caring and compassion for others that naturally led to their admiration and their appreciation. She's been a trailblazer. She was often the only woman on the group, many times the first in very important roles. And she's been a role model including being a founding member of the Women in STEAM and sharing and mentoring her experiences with so many throughout the company. Sawmill, we thank you for all you've done and we wish you and your family all the best in the retirement years ahead. Thank you, Sawmill. I don't have anything, then we don't use it. <laughs> I don't have anything. Okay. Okay. But that was the funniest thing. Okay. That was the funniest thing. I stumbled out this one? One, one or two, yeah. Okay. You had that frog in your throat. Could you be cut yeah. one second? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah.
Did I put impact on the career? <laughs> but it wasn't really until... No, I have to start again. Sorry, that was not good. <laughs> what was the question again? Thank you to Sawmill because she has really been a role model for me throughout the company. Um, well, let me start that over. I have to say, so let me start over. I sounded silly.